Hello, my name is Jeanette and welcome to my channel. This week we are going sourcing for Amazon Retail Arbitrage. I'm going to be hitting up a different store each day of the week, Monday through Thursday, because I am going out of town this weekend, but I still want to send in my weekly inventory. It's my birthday month. Happy birthday to me. So we're taking a little weekend getaway birthday trip to Solvang, California, and I'm really excited, but I have a lot of work to do before I can enjoy my time off. So today I want to go to Staples and Marshalls and Ross. I don't want to be gone for too long today because I still haven't packed my inventory from last week. I knew this week was going to be a lot of work. I'm already behind. So let's get going and see what we can find. I'm going to give myself like an hour, maybe two. We'll see. All right, I just made it to Staples. Last time I was here, I found a lot of cups that were on clearance. The manager said that they were marking down a lot of stuff. I did notice on my way out, they also had a shopping cart full of more stuff they were marking down. But that was two weeks ago. So I'm gonna go back in here and see if there's anything new and poke around. Poke, poke. <laughs> So the clearance table is gone. I'm just gonna head to the clearance aisle. Whew, I got a, like a hair scarf going on. It is so windy. It's very windy today. Just got out of Staples and I did wind up getting one thing they had a bunch of clearance tables last time I went there, but this time there's just, you know, the regular clearance aisle, which was fine. And I went through that. There was a lot of cups, but they didn't make any money. Uh, there was also some Avery labels, which I love looking through the Avery labels, but even though I've never sold any, I don't know why I'm just so gravitated towards those. I also looked at the little electronic things. There was a lot of post-it notes. I didn't see any post-it notes that make money but if you're in the market for post-it notes, Clarence at Staples, they even have the really cute pastel color ones. Those are my fave. Okay, so I did find a box of paper label looking things. I bought them for $4.97. They sell for $23.64 and I should profit $5.40 on each of those and I got two. So, so far we've made like 10 bucks. Okay, so now I think that I'm going to head over to Marshall's and Ross because it's just right here in the same parking lot and see if I can find anything. There are a few bolos available, so I'm going to see if I can find those. Before I go into Marshall's, I wanted to give a shout out to David Blayla. Hey, I hope I pronounced that right. If I don't get your name right, I am so sorry. Marlena Cherry, hey girl. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Nicholas Ajayi, Ajaya, very cool name. Hi. Thank you for watching and commenting. A hello tonight. Leo Pedra, Natalie Rodriguez. I feel like I said that wrong too. Rob Kipler, Brittany Doolin, and H family finds. Hello to all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. It blows my mind. Thank you so much. Tell your friends. They want to watch me too. Mm -hmm. I know I mentioned this before. Uh, I feel like I share as much knowledge as I possibly can, which isn't really a lot. I can give you anything. I hope to at least, at the very least, entertain you and hang out with you while you're doing what you're doing. Let's go into Marshalls and see if we can find some stuff. I don't know why I'm doing this. So I went over to Ross and I walked around the beauty department, which is really lackluster. The beauty department here, it's tiny and it's not that good. Then I walked over to the toys and scanned a bunch of those. Didn't find anything. I found a few things that were like close, but no cigar. Then I went over to the food, which again, not much there. I also scanned through the house stuff. Uh, this Ross is just not that good. I can't even think of anything I've really got from this Ross that was worth anything. But, oh, you know what, backpacks. I get backpacks at Ross. Back to school. Ross is a good place to find backpacks. Other than that, I 
can't think of anything that I like to get there. Uh, so after Ross, I went through to Marshall's and I scanned their beauty. I found a few things that were close, but I didn't get them. And I scanned their food. I scanned through the kitchen stuff, like the kitchen gadgets. They had a whole ton of cups that I went through, but didn't really find any. Went through the pet stuff, went through the toys. Uh, I've been keeping my eye out for um, summer things like pool floaties, popsicle molds, ice molds. I sold a bunch of those last year. I found some sunscreens that I wound up not getting. I don't know. I don't know. Just nothing really spoke to me in Marshalls or Ross. Nothing really drew me in. Nothing got me excited. I actually wound up just buying stuff for me. I bought uh, some self-care things like face masks and lip masks because my lips are so dry. Yeah, I got myself some stuff, but didn't really get anything to sell. So overall, I made $10 today. I've done all I can for today. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna recharge. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. It is only Tuesday and I am already exhausted. <laughs> Today was just such a long day at work. I'm tired. After work, I had a lot of editing to do. Now here I am. I'm at the 99 cent store. I'm just gonna make a quick trip out tonight, see if I can find anything. I'm gonna go to the 99 cent store and Home Goods. So let's get this show on the road so I can go to bed. cent store and I did have a little bit of luck. I searched through the toys and the electronics and the pet stuff. I went down every single aisle. The outdoor toy aisle, scanned a bunch of that stuff, scanned a lot of beauty, scanned a bunch of stuff. I wound up getting two things. One thing is like a bake mix, a baking mix. I got two bundles of six. They cost $6 each. They sell for $22.99 and I should profit $5.15 on both of those. The next thing I got was a pasta sauce bundle and in the bundle is four jars, paid $4 sells for $25.19 and I should profit $8.73 on those. I got five total. So that's $43.65 just for those pasta sauce bundles plus the $10 for the cake mix. And we're looking at like 53 bucks for going into the 99 cent store. Who's getting stuff done today? I'm getting stuff done today. Who's buying stuff for FBA? I'm buying stuff for FBA. I gotta get moving. Uh, there's just way too many people out here. It's too people-y out here. I am now at Home Goods. It was just way too busy over there at the 99 cent store. It's blowing up on a Tuesday. I'm not looking for anything in particular. I, I can't even remember the last time I've been here. Let's go, you know, let's just go. Let's dive in. getting a couple of things. I did the usual, like I cruised pretty much the whole store. Definitely checked out the mugs. They had tons of mugs and I actually wound up getting a mug. And then I went over to the grocery stuff, the kitchen stuff. I went over to like the soaps, the hand soaps, the toys, pet supplies. 
all that good stuff. I really wanted to take home this cat stroller for my cats so I can take her on walks in the little stroller. But I don't know, is that for like retired people? I'm not retired yet. It's so cute though. Like, I don't know if she would like it. Anyways, there was a lot of clearance. I looked through a lot of it. I wound up getting two things. The first thing I got was a mug. I got two of them. I paid $8. They sell for $22.99 and they should make a profit of about $5.42. I also got, it's like a household item. I really wanted it for myself, but I guess I'll sell it. I paid $7.99 for it. It sells for $21.70 and it makes a profit of four dollars and 57 cents and I only could find one because I kind of wanted to find more that way I could keep one but I'm not and that's all I got so overall I think found about $58 worth of stuff total today which isn't bad it is now six o'clock I started at 6 a.m. worked 12 hours today so I'm gonna go home and start to get ready for bed and relax maybe watch some TV and I will see you guys tomorrow for Wednesday's sourcing trip all right Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, whatever you want to call it. I feel like today has been so productive. I got a lot done at my nine to five job. I finally got these boxes packed up and I'm about to drop them off. I went to the doctor today to get my lab results because I've just been feeling so sluggish that, you know, why not check it out, do my annual. My blood work was actually the best it's been in a long time, which is awesome. The only thing I need to work on is taking vitamin D. So I'm gonna do that. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves out there. Your health is such a priority. Let me lug these inside and then we will get on our way to Big Lots. All right, my packages are dropped off. That took a little longer than I wanted it to, but I noticed some other FBA sellers in there dropping off their packages. I was like, oh. I've never seen another FBA seller in the flesh, you know? I was kind of excited. I just made it to my favorite place. I have a coupon for 15% off because it's my birthday month. Let's go in here and see if I can find anything. lots and I feel like I did pretty good in there. They had a lot of cool new summer stuff so I was definitely looking through that. I wound up getting three things. The first thing was a replen that I've been getting. It cost $15 and it sells for $45-ish dollars and I make about $15 on those and I got four. The next thing I got was like a cooler and I paid $47.20 for it, but it sells for about $95. So I should profit $26.80 on those and I got two of them. I also got a kitchen item, like a kitchen appliance. I got it for $25.60. It sells for $60.79. I should profit about $17.71 on that. And I got four of those. So I think overall, like I got over $140 worth of profit in Big Lots. I love Big Lots. And that was with my coupon. Those prices included the coupon. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Today was a good day. I found this penny on heads and I picked it up. This might be my new lucky penny. I'm gonna save it. If you haven't already, definitely join Big Lots Reward Program. You will get coupons and discounts. It's been an 11 hour day for me. I started at 6 a.m. and I'm quitting at five. I'm happy with my purchases today. These long days are gonna be worth it when I'm enjoying my weekend. I'm not sure where we're going tomorrow. Maybe grocery outlet, maybe Walmart. I haven't decided, but you'll find out in a couple of seconds. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, it is Thursday and I am at the Wally 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 Walmart. 
<laughs> two days the last day I will be sourcing this week because tomorrow I have to pack all my inventory up and ship it out so today is the the last day to get stuff I mean I'm pretty happy with what I've found so far this week so I don't feel like too much pressure to get a bunch more stuff but I do want to get some stuff I'm gonna look through the clearance aisle and I also recently posted on my Instagram like ideas of how you guys organize your poly bags and retail rogue she sent me a message of how she organizes it and she puts them in individual little bins to keep them organized and i like that idea so i'm just gonna go for it so while we're in walmart i'm gonna see if i can find some little bins or maybe one with drawers i don't know and and organize my bags because they're just out of control they're just out of control so if you don't follow retail rogue find her on instagram retail rogue she also has a blog so check her out hit up the clearance aisle get some boxes and see if we can organize these bags let's see if i can pass through the lawn and garden center without buying another plant i'll try Walmart. I did not have any luck in the clearance aisle. So then I moseyed on over to the toys and I scanned a bunch of toys and I, I, there were some that just came really close, but no cigar. And then I decided to just go ahead and get the storage boxes. I got these like, I didn't get the cheapest ones. The cheapest ones were like a dollar or something. I got like the midline because I don't you know sometimes I feel like you get what you pay for and I've had cheap storage containers and they were awful so I just went ahead and spent the three whole dollars and 50 cents on each one of these then I got some boxes and then I moseyed around the store a little bit more and scanned a bunch of stuff but I just didn't really find anything I kind of feel like I'm already in like vacation mode you know so I didn't try super hard I ju I'm just happy with what I have and I'm gonna call it a week I've been working like 10 to 12 hour days every day since I believe Saturday I'm just I'm done you know done. I've got to start packing for our trip. What we thought was going to be two nights away has now turned into like five nights away because my husband got an email that he has class in Los Angeles next week. So instead of him driving for like 11 hours just to drop me back off at the house, I'm just going to go to LA with him. Why not? I work remotely and I work for myself, so I can do that. So I'm just going to work from on the road. I'll work from the hotel. That's fine. They got a gym. They got Wi-Fi. They got food. They got everything I need. We're both good at going with the flow. You know, go with the flow. Today I was also working on some stuff that I'm really excited about that I can't wait to tell you guys about. Not quite ready yet. I will be sure to fill you in on as soon as possible. But until then, I'm just going to go home. I'm going to add up all the stuff that I got this week and I will let you know how much I should profit from this week's trips. I just uh, put all my poly bags in these containers and I already love it. I'll probably bust out my Cricut and, you know, label these. Love it. Thank you, Retail Rogue, for suggesting this. Ugh. Now I just have to sort out the rest of these. No big deal. If you guys are wondering where I get my poly bags from, if you want to know what supplies I use or where to get it, I put all of my links below and they are on my blog. I got everything all packed up and I wound up with these two boxes. The total sales value is $730.23. The buy cost was $218 for a total net profit of $237.34. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and comment and I will see you next week. Bye.